Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back. We are going to be playing Fallout 4 today. We are not going to be continuing the Let's Play yet. Uh, I will get back to that in the future, I promise. There is just way too much stuff going on right now, video game wise, and I've already got too much on my plate. This will 3v3 kind of playthroughs right now, which is way too many. Let's be honest, I've got Dark Souls 2. I still got Tom Clancy's going. We move both of those to once a day. And now we've got this. We've got the, uh, what's it called? The Automatron DLC. We are going to be loading up, though, my main character. So, which one is it? Mag yeah, yeah, here we go. Four days and 12 hours played. So let's go ahead and we're going to hop into this. And we are going to check out this DLC. I, I'm not, I don't know too much about this DLC. Obviously, I know I'm late. Uh, it came out on Tuesday, obviously. It is Friday when I'm recording this. This should go up on Saturday. Um, I actually totally forgot this came out. I was too busy uh, paying attention to Dark Souls 3, um, chatting with a friend about Dark Souls 3, because he actually did pay for it early. He's going to end up, I believe, spending like $700 or something like that on Dark Souls 3. He's getting the Estus Flask guide, he's getting the both of the collector's editions, he had to pay 70 bucks to get it for Japan. Actually, he paid 100 because he wanted to be safe, uh, which was smart, which was really smart, uh, but homie is paying way too much for Dark Souls 3. Like, I just got the collector's edition, and then maybe I'm thinking about getting the Estus Flask, I'm not sure yet. Um, we've also been in the last couple of days trying to get my PC all set up so I can... So there is the uh, the new quest, Mechanical Menace. I have Kiri with me. Um, I guess we'll just roll. We'll continue to roll with Kiri. Um, but let me get out of here. Um, let's see. I love this file because I've got way too much ammo. As you can see, it's like an un it's an ungodly amount of ammo. It's way too much. But it is good because then I don't have to worry. I can use whatever guns I want. I don't even know what guns I have on this account anymore. Um, really, the spray and pray, and that's about it. I've got some special weapons. I've got the deliverer, which is just for fun. Uh, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Um, oops. Let me go ahead. Fast travel to my base. Let's go to my base and listen to this. Maybe I'll hop in some power armor. I'm not entirely sure, but this DLC sounds pretty awesome. I've heard it's pretty short, uh, but, I, but I've heard it's pretty awesome. Um, I was, I, I don't know, I was going to wait to play this, but uh, I have been doing some selling of different items out of different uh, collections of different stuff that I have, and... You know, I'm, I've been buying up some games and some add-ons. I bought some Nautica. That looks like a sweet game. Um, there's some other things I've been picking up. Uh, but I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about this DLC. Let me go and buy that real quick. And then let, let's start up the Let's Play. These loading screens, though, are taking forever. It's sad when I can do a full, like, 720 with the with the... With the exosuit here before it loads me in. But I'm pretty excited to do this. You get to build like a companion now. You get to uh, customize it with... That's that's what I read, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. That's what I read. Is that you can kind of like customize your... Um, you can customize your own like companion robot. Uh, which is pretty awesome. Because right now your two companion robots are pretty meh. And they're the exact same. They're both Mr. Gutsies. So... Uh, here is the base, um, if you had not seen it before, I guess I'll do a quick run through. Here are all my power armors, um, I, I, I kind of stopped mid-collection. It's laggy as all hell in here, um, because it has way more items than you should be able to have because I used the glitch. But this is just the power armor collection, it's kind of like my thing in this game. I really wanted to put like a wall cover up over here, but I, I just never did and I probably won't. It's really not necessary. You got, like, the lounge up here. Got, like, the kitchen and another, like, lounge there. I'm just running through this real quick in case anybody didn't see my mansion before. This is kind of just, like, a commons area and, like, bar and whatnot. There's Piper. And then here's, like, the master bedroom. It's got, like, a 
triple monitor setup. You've got two TVs for sleeping, full bobblehead collection. You've got uh, my rack of magazines, which I'm happy they kind of fixed. I remember before when they used to kind of fall out on you. Uh, but that's enough of that. We've got like chests up here full of different stuff. This is like full of all the unique weapons that I have. Uh, don't actually have... Let me get rid of some of... Let me drop some of this stuff in here while we're here. Huge napalmer. Let me put that in here. Let me hurry up and do this crap. Um, oh yeah, let me... I'm gonna use the alien blaster in this playthrough. Where did I put my nades and stuff? Here we go. Frags, Molotov cocktails, cryogenic, sweat... Oh, why do I have a freaking sweater vest? That's like garbage. I need like... A, where's my trash can? This isn't it, but I'm gonna throw this crap in here. Okay, we are at 90 out of 240 carry weight. I think I'm gonna hop in a power armor, guys, just simply because I want the carry weight, and I hope that that'll be enough. Because I don't know, always with new DLCs, you're gonna find new items, new stuff like that. Which is my good armor? It's right here. Yeah, here it is. My uh, my shark armor. My why is it my exo? Okay, it's mark. It's mark six. I was like, why is it mark? I thought I thought I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at the exo one and thinking it was mark one. I was like, what has happened to my to my uh, power armor? Okay, let's go ahead and listen to this distress once again. My stupid. I keep forgetting to change where this is. I actually have a level up. I got to plug in. Give me one second. I gotta... There we go. Alright. Radio. Uh, is it the caravan distress sim signal? Let me see what it says under quests. Care. Yep. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I gotta turn the radio up. Because it's all the way down. under attack by hostile robots and need some serious help we're just east of watts consumer electronics anyone in the vicinity can come help now's the time ada loop this message yes sir i'll let it play through one more time or not it's not going to let me do it. I have a level up, but we'll take care of that later. I don't really need to level up. I've got all I need. Okay. Now, let me turn the radio back down so I don't get copyright claimed. Because I've already had, like, two videos copyrighted claimed on this game. And I got a copyright claim on... Usually, the copyright claims that I get... Oops. Hold on. Where is this? I need to get... Okay, it's up north. Find the caravan... Let's just head here. Um, but usually the copyright claims I get on my videos are ones where the uh, the company is okay if whatever whoever is copyright claiming. Usually they are okay with me using their content. They just want they want me to not monetize it, which is fine. I'd rather have that than them say don't don't have the video at all. Screw your let's play because that is just annoying. I've never had, like, a copyright strike, which surprises me because out of all the things that I've uploaded on my channel, I'm surprised one thing wasn't copyright claimed, like, as in getting me a copyright strike, I guess. Let's see. It's this way. I have not played Fallout 4, or, Fall, yeah, Fallout 4 in a while, um, and I haven't really played a first-person shooter other than Call of Duty in a while, so this could go horribly. Or not. Where's my alien blaster? We want this. We want the alien blaster. Because I have it. I have it to use cell ammo, not the alien rounds. And I have like 16,000. My god, they're. I've got a. I'm, I'm gonna be collecting. I think you can collect parts. 
I'm not sure. That's what I wanted my. Oh god, these things are strong. Curie, do something. My god, they're everywhere. Stop it. Oh, okay. That's the robot you want to speak to. Uh, laser boosted capacitor. Mechanist holotape. I'm just going to start grabbing robo repair kit. Robot repair robot companions downed in combat and can be favorited for quick use. Humans cannot use... Okay. Okay, I need... That fusion core is nice. Let me loot this stuff first and then we'll talk to him. I don't really need to pick up the steel. I have plenty of that. Zoe's diary. Zoe's got some stuff on her. Utility coveralls. Uh, nothing really there. Why does he have a noodle? Why does he have... Where the, was that? Why does he have a noodle cup on him? Shades. Oops. I gotta get used to these controls again. Jackson's holotape. Dish rag. We got some fuses. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to the robot. Well, hold on. What is this? We got some Mr. Handy fuel. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Another dead guy. survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor, but I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. I'm sorry. For your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. Sensors clear. You must be stopped! What the hell?! F off, feral ghoul! What the hell? My friends did not survive the yes, attack. we know they didn't Thank survive the attack. I was certain to meet my... Please tell... You Please have got to be kidding me! With the weapon and detect... I gotta do tell all this dialogue again? F you, feral ghoul! So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. Well, what's done is done. You can't change the past. You're right. I must look to the future. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. You'll need help if you want to succeed. I'm aware of this. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vocal registry to express my gratitude. Now, we last saw a group of the mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Yeah. 
Let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Okay, send, I'll send Curie, where? Oh god, what? Is it the Boston Airport? I think it's got to be the Boston Airport. Okay, I'll send Curie to the Boston Airport. Alright, so new com you get a new companion right off the bat with Ada. Also an achievement, Mechanical Menace. Okay, achievement, go away. I can't tell where I'm supposed to go. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Investigate General Atomics Factory. You can now build a robot workbench, so she just gives that to you straight off the bat. Um, at the first point, we need to fast travel. Actually, I should probably check this. Okay. Where is this thing? Gosh, I keep clicking the wrong buttons because I'm not used to this game. Good neighbor. Bring. No, I don't want to bring Kiri to Dr. Amari. What is the. There we go. Why did it put me onto that quest? Okay, it's on my map somewhere, but I don't see it. Okay, it's right here. Okay, let me go. Let's go back to the base real quick. Let's go back to home base. I can't fast travel when enemies are nearby. Just, just F off. Can I fast travel now? Yes, I can. Okay, let's go back to the base and check out what this workbench is. Hopefully it'll let me put it down. I have this fear with this base that, you know, it's over capacity, that if I put something down, all of a sudden, like, half of it is just deleted into this, into nothingness, pretty much. But we will see here once it loads me in. We'll find out exactly what this robot workbench is. And uh, probably call it an episode and then we'll start the next one by doing a bit more exploring, I guess. Because right now... I, I think we did pretty much a, a decent amount. Not, not a whole lot in this episode. But uh, I, I kind of introduced what we're doing here and... We're going to check out what this wor robot workbench is all about. I'll also create like a little crate next to it so that we can store all of our robot parts and stuff like that. Alright. Here we go, back to the lagginess. I'm not used to having to use Y to jump. Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. Is this going to work? I wonder if that glitch still... Oh, special. Oh, ho, ho. Would you look... Wow, this is pretty sweet. This is something to put on the roof. Hold on, we're putting this bad boy on the roof. Oh, God, the lag is real. My poor base. It's beautiful, I love my base, but it is one laggy cluster. Because I need to delete some things off of it that can easily be deleted and create more. Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta... I gotta do... What the heck are these? You can build cages now? They added some stuff since the last time I played. I need stairs. Where are stairs? Furniture? No. What is it under? I thought it would be under structure. Ah, uh, here we go, stairs. I mean, I just need... I just need anything. There we go. Okay, now... I can always move this. I, I want it centered. Because I'm semi-OCD like that. That's good enough. Can I, can I wait till the daytime? Hold on, let me pop out of this. Let's wait till the daytime to get a better look at this. So, seven hours. 
This thing is awesome looking. I need to look up and make sure it's not sticking through the floor because that is super annoying. When crap sticks through. Oh god, the lag. Come on, Fallout, you can do it. Okay, good, it does not stick through the floor. Okay, let's see here. I need to probably, if I'm putting it up here, I need to create a more... a better looking stairway up here, I guess. But, robot workbench. Select a bot. Kiri, Ada, or new automatron. Let's go with a new automatron. Okay, I have all those materials. Holy, this is awesome. No rear torso armor. This is awesome. This unit is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? No. I think I'll keep you in default mode for now. Acknowledged. You can enable this unit's personality subroutine at any time by utilizing the vocal interface. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. Actually, I'll be back later. Systems returning to standby mode. Oh my gosh, this is so incredibly awesome up here. You can have, you can just... Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. You can just grow. Oh my gosh. Though, to be honest, though. What? Hold on. Let me see what this looks like for Kiri. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. Mr. Hand. Oh my gosh. No way, dude. That is, this is awesome. That, this is gonna be... This unit cannot proceed without command input. Curie, can you move out of the way? Okay, I want... Hold on. Let me sleep for a second. That's just annoying that they don't move. Curie should have moved by now. He also moved. Where did he go? Okay, let's see here. Oh, you can get an Assaultron head. A Tektron head. Could go head... Whoa. Okay. So you could go Assaultron head and then put it in the head factory armor, I would assume. Mr. Handy torso, Assaultron torso, front factory storage armor. Wow, there is a ton that you can do with these. Female processed voice. Sentry voice. I, suspect a fair number were lost here. I don't really know. Paint. Oh my gosh, you could. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm hoping you can get more blueprints than what we have now. Obviously, I'm going to wait for that. Well, let me just. Know. Let me transfer. Some of the stuff into here. Use uh, steel. We can put that in there. Vacuum tube. Need to drop off all of that stuff. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for our first episode of the DLC. I know I didn't do too much. Um, I'm just going to leave this ugly looking stair here for now. We'll get that all. Uh, I'll, I'll get a proper looking stair to get up here in the future. 
Um, but I'm going to do a little inventory management here between episodes, and then we will be back to, uh, to continue. So I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and I will catch you in the next one. I'll do a little bit of exploring with uh, a little bit of the, cr the customization and see if I can find anything cool for Ada. Uh, but other than that, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.